Hello everyone, and welcome to Brighton. Folks, welcome to a windy and overcast, beautiful day in Brighton. This is a coastal town in the south of England. We're here today, as you've guessed, to buy some Halo. Well, technically we're not buying today, we're actually trading. I have a box of old Pokemon cards, and I've met a guy on Facebook Marketplace called Kalem. He has a full box of Halo, including some Mega, McFarlane, and Jazzware. It's gonna be a really good trade, I think. We met him last night and then had a very questionable evening, which I think George and I would like to forget quite soon. I think uh, the only footage I have of it is completely blurred. But yeah, we're gonna go meet this guy. Hopefully the deal goes off without a hitch, so let's check it out. couple of minutes out from meeting this guy and it is about to start to rain but you know we're going to a park not ideal but I'm sure we'll figure it out I'm just excited to see those McFarlane figures let's go all right welcome back this is not uh, the person I was actually meant to meet today <laughs> this is Zach. Zach's um, been a fan of the channel for its entire existence years? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably at first we were just walking down the street he said hello to me it was cool then I realized who you were and it was even cooler because like like, you followed my adventures in Vietnam, you yep. bought my tea when I was trying to export that to England. Yeah, Pleasure, right. man, like, fame <laughs> and fortune, you know, fame and fortune. Currently awaiting the deal, and also we have no phone signal, so we have no idea where he is. He told us a park and nothing else, so... Yeah, wish us luck. Hopefully this isn't, like, some sting operation. We're about to get, uh, all of our Pokemon cards stolen. There he is! <laughs> we should do it like in TV where like people walk up to each other and shake hands like they've yeah. just met. Hello, I'm good to meet. Ka Kalem, Kalem, Kalem. Right? I know, yeah. Well, how do I pronounce your name? Kalem. Kalem, Kalem. We've never met before and we did not spend last night hanging out and drinking beer. That's Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's not what we did. <laughs> we arrive at the point in the video where I should mention the person who is holding the camera has no camera experience and I set the autocorrect features to the wrong dial. So the next minute or so is a little out of focus, but if you just squint your eyes, it's like nothing really changed. So <laughs> it'll get back to proper focus after this little interaction. Enjoy. Okay. We got a great deal today. I've brought a monstrous shoebox full of Pokemon cards. <laughs> and you've brought a suitcase and a big bag of Halo. We had one day, didn't we, where we, we sat there, like, just sending each other pictures constantly, just Backwards ramping up the sale again and again. <laughs> it was quite exciting. Yeah, I think we're both really happy with the trade, Absolutely. honestly. And also, yeah. we're, we're by a fairground, so that's fun. <laughs> All right, I just gotta have a look at this box real quick. Oh, buddy. Oh, and it would look so much better in focus. That is beautiful. <laughs> I think Halo Reach was definitely the highest quality. And we have a lot of these Jazzware ammo crates. Right. Got one of these bad boys uh, the building box. Yeah, it was one of my first ever live streams uh, building some random, random like... I watched that one. Did you watch that one? Hey, there we I've go. I've been watching Simon's content for years. Like, also since part I was of the law, yeah. This tool, so. yeah, yeah. Energy sword in here, still sealed. Still sealed? Still all the yeah, pieces. Yeah, you collected Halo Mega Blocks back in the day. Yeah, for years. I guess you you tried to get back into it with Mega Constructs. Uh, Somewhat, yeah, yeah. They kind of had it in retailers nearby. The distribution's the issue. Like, yeah, if we bring UK, distribution back to the UK, jobs are good. Yeah, I definitely buy some more if the distribution was like widespread. There you go. Listen I'll up, buy Mattel more toys. Halo. Listen up. <laughs> but first, I think you need to see what I've brought to the table. Absolutely. Yeah. Please don't explode. Look at all that goodness. Yeah, feel free to dig in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, absolute mother load in there. Oh yeah, the one of the UNSC checkpoints. Really nice. Oh, there is a lot in here. The recon getaway. The assault on high ground. Mm. And I get to keep the suitcase, right? <laughs> you just poured it in here. It was all on one side, so like ah. you flip it that way. Oh, wrong, wrong way, but it's wrong fine. Way. You don't get much nicer than that. Hey, hey, you going? Oh, Halo Infinite Monster Energy. So obviously, this is wild. Uh, what we're gonna do now is crazy. fast forward to uh, when I've actually built all this stuff. Absolute pleasure, my man. My pleasure. I think this has been a good trade. 100%. And thanks for featuring in uh, the domain. Yeah, after all this time. It's been amazing. amazing. What an experience. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Let's go check this out back at home. Cool. 
Let's get stuck into this thing. I'm really excited. I'm particularly excited about the McFarlane, as I'm sure you can uh, guess. Right. Building box. Always gonna love that. And it was pretty much sealed. I mean, he broke the tab, but everything is there, 100% complete. Two great figures, lots of metallic green. Really nice to have one of those in England. Then we've got this, pretty interesting. A monster little display box. I'll probably put all my blind bags in here or something. The buildable energy sword. This is just the packaging. The actual thing is padding out most of the products in here. I hope Mega do make more. They've only made the energy sword and the needler so far. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, I am now officially a owner of a collectible that I've wanted for a long time, the Halo Reach Ghost. I've never wanted to pay aftermarket prices for it. It's got a lot of really nice posability. And now I do officially own a McFarlane, Jazzware, and Mattel Ghost. So that's a really nice collection to actually have. Yes, I should probably sell this and make some money, but look at, look at it. You can't sell that. It would be sacrilege to my hobby and my collecting. Maybe I'll sell the energy sword. Maybe I'll use the pieces for some water displays. I'm not sure yet. Untold riches lay beyond here. Okay, let's have a little look-see. I'm... <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know what's in here. It's, it's one of those things like uh, we were communicating back and forth. I don't really know what's inside, so I'm really excited about this one. Start WoW with a CQC. That is very nice. A recon. Missing its chest for now, but I hope it's there. <laughs> Missing a shoulder there, but he's looking very good. I know the unhelmeted versions of Noble Team are very rare nowadays. Definitely happy to have a Jun in my collection. This one I actually did see pictures of beforehand, so I was excited to grab that. Is that a Gungnir helmet? Whoa. This is the Halo 3 multiplayer elite. This was one of the four characters, you know, the Arbiter, Master Chief, and two elites that were actually in the campaign. Really nice elite. Love that metallic purple. Two elites here. Look at them. Ah! Oh, look at that. An unhelmeted George as well. Oh, wow. Are there any other unhelmeted figures? Yo, oh my goodness. Unhelmeted George, Carter, and June. Wow, that's crazy. I'll take it. That is actually wild. What else do we have? Like, I know some of these are gonna be worth more than others. It totally depends on, like, the rarity, sometimes the character. A lot of the time, the most expensive waves are the, like, last ones to be released because they didn't get distributed as well. I already know some of my friends are looking for these figures. <gasps> Look at that. I think that might be worth a little bit of money, boys. Another grunt. Goodness me, that's four grunts. I don't think I owned any Halo Reach grunts before now. The Halo Infinite Marine, and yeah, this is definitely from either the UNSC checkpoint or the Banish checkpoint. And then, oh my goodness. Missing its shoulders, but a Halo 3 Spartan. Let's quick cut to having all of the actual McFarlane pieces. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, baby, look at this selection. Mwah! Look at these guys. I've never had any of these in the flesh before. They even have mild articulation, and I want more. 100% complete. This green recon here is part of an armory set. And we have two crates full of McFarlane and Jazzware weapons. I've never owned a grenade launcher from McFarlane. Let's clear this away and start checking out the rest of this. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Nice and gently. Oh, 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 I, I, I see something already <laughs> that is not <laughs> Mega Constructs. Okay, all right, <laughs> yes, yes, okay. That is very, very good to see. Warthog Rally, bit of high ground. Here we go then. Gently does it. <laughs> it's like the greatest game of 3D Jigsaw, right? But yeah, we got a Halo Reach Wraith, and that's actually a really popular one. I see some nice vehicles here. Okay, let's shake out all the debris. We've got the Spade, Warthog Rally, we've got the Razorback. No, 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 that's the Rocket Hog from the AA gun. The Red Spade. <laughs> How do I know that's a Red Spade? <laughs> These base plates belong to High Ground. Yeah, it comes with the Wraith, I believe. They really nailed the design of this second attempt. I did see a few pieces of Bubble Shield. So we've got the Orbital Banshee Blitz. The original Prowler. It's uh, seen better days. I'm still on the hunt for any more McFarlane stuff. Good to see you here, Orbital Banshee Blitz. Yeah. Halo Infinite Banshee and Hijacked Ghost. This is the ghost that comes with the High Ground. The Recon Getaway. That's another one of those structures. There's our first new piece of McFarlane that uh, we found in this collection. The red honor guard means he must have had the Crimson Combat Unit at some point. The Master Chief versus Brute Warrior. There's a chase 
green hazard. All right, here's me face again. I've uh, been sorting through this for a little while and I've found some interesting little honorable mentions. Let's run down the list. A bunch of new articulation figures, including Emil. Figures from the Red Spade used to be a personal favorite of mine. Oh, Jackal, how far you've come. I'm so proud. The original Desert Combat unit, so I'm really hoping the actual display is there as well. Interestingly, we have two of these brutes from their uh, respective little army packs. They did come with this, I believe. But yeah, we'll see if they're 100% complete. The original AC Elite, very nice. A metallic black ODST. This has been a pretty great haul, guys. I don't know about you. The fact that I traded all this for some Pokemon cards that I just had lying around, and like the ones I traded in quantity were of high value, but in terms of actual time to sort and sell them all for small prices, not worth my time. We got a really great trade here overall. The only thing left to do is show you what this looks like 100% finished and built. And here we are, about a week later, I'm settled back in my hometown. I had an amazing few weeks in London, and I got myself a pretty dang good haul. I've been able to sort through my extensive collection of 10,000 plus pieces and find pretty much 99% of all the things I need. So let's check out this haul one last time. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll subscribe. Here we are, what better place to start than with this ghost. So the McFarlane stuff, although there are a few shoulders missing, it's still a phenomenal haul. I'm gonna show this off in a separate video, like a huge McFarlane haul video, but that'll come out in a few months time. Let's start over here, we've got a sealed, Builder's box and a sealed energy sword. And I do have one of the Master Chief weapon charms still available. They came in select amounts of these swords, so I'm going to include that for whoever buys that. We got some random assorted figures and weapons. Nothing crazy, though there are quite a few figures from one of the ultimate weapon packs or ultimate armory collector packs, whatever it's called. A few ACs, very basic, but then we got some nice new articulation. Yeah, just a random assortment there. And the Master Chief versus Brute Warrior weapons pack. I'm happy that's 100% complete. We got a chase figure from Charlie series with the figure it came with, and three from Alpha series, including both halves of the AC Brute. UNSC Spade and Red Spade, 100% complete, and those figures are great to see. One of the uh, least valuable sets from the Infinite line, to be honest. It's really not increased in value. It's actually decreased slightly. Maybe it'll increase in the future. The Recon, Getaway, and Hijacked Ghost. Them two are actually more expensive than the uh, Banshee Breakout on the aftermarket, surprisingly enough. If I had a penny for every time an ODST ambush has passed through my collection. These figures I was especially happy with. I'm definitely keeping these in my collection. This foreigner structure is from the Warthog Resistance. It's always random, like, what bits collectors end up with, because he's got two of these, but only one of the Wraith. Banshee Blitz, seen that so many times as well, and the original Covenant Banshee, or one of the originals. The Revenant Attack with Bubble Shield, the Shade Turret. I've never seen a Bubble Shield on second hand that's actually not broken in some way. These hinges are so delicate, so like a couple of them have snapped, but it still works. We've got the Prowler, doesn't come with the little background environmental piece, but never mind. The only thing that is damaged beyond repair is this Warthog Rally, but then, ooh, we got the big guns. The AA gun versus Rocket Hog, 100% complete. Now I've added some extras. And the Assault on High Ground, 100% complete. Now I've added some extras. Unfortunately, the only figure missing from this one was the AC Recon. But I found one in my personal collection, so I made it 100% complete. And then these random guys. I haven't seen these in so long. The Brutes, I think it's called the Covenant Weapon Pack 3. And yeah, we got two of those 100% complete. Let me know what you think of this haul down below. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. I hope you enjoyed your and just shout out to another massive haul. I'll see you next time folks. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my end card for some more awesome videos.